Well, Elon Musk says his $44 billion purchase of Twitter is on hold. He tweeted the deal is postponed, saying he wants more details on the number of fake accounts on that platform. And this news sending Twitter stock plunging down more than 9%. The markets overall, though, did not appear to be phased by Musk's announcement, rallying today after those really steep losses earlier this week. So Lydia Moynihan is a business reporter from the New York Post. She is here to help us understand today's developments. Lydia, thank you so much for being with us. It's great to be here. All right. So, you know, Elon Musk loves to tweet, tweeting again today. So why is the number of Twitter bots in question? here. Well, I think it's important to preface any discussion about Elon Musk by saying we, we don't really know what he was thinking. There's a lot of informed speculation, um, but at the end of the day, he's a provocateur. He likes to break glass, so no one really knows. And, and it's funny, you know, it's Friday the 13th, and a lot of people's read at first was that he was just kind of playing around. But as the day progressed, it became clear that um, this was indeed a serious tweet. And there's sort of two schools of thought that have emerged. The first is that he is, is doing this in a way to sort of renegotiate the deal and put out there that maybe Twitter wasn't totally honest with him about the number of users. Um, as you mentioned, Twitter stock has, has plunged. It's now valued about 30 billion, um, whereas he paid about he offered to pay $44 billion for it. And then the other school of thought is that, you know, maybe he's looking just to walk away from the deal altogether. So it's, it's important to note that since he and Twitter first struck this deal about three weeks ago, the market has changed dramatically. The S&P, a benchmark index, has created about 10%. And Elon Musk's personal wealth has also plummeted. Uh, his wealth is tied closely to Tesla, and those shares have dropped about 25% since he uh, and Twitter first struck this deal. All right, so Lydia, you know, if he is maybe, if Musk is maybe, you know, trying to get out of the deal or maybe trying to cheapen the deal a bit, is there any way that he could potentially get in trouble with the SEC here? Oh, yes. Uh, yes. He's, he's kind of asking for trouble here. Um, if he does walk away from the deal, he will have to pay up front a $1 billion so-called breakup fee to Twitter for leaving the deal. And then he also opens himself up to a lot of lawsuits. Um, he could get sued by Twitter. You, you mentioned the SEC. He, of course, could get in trouble with a number of regulatory bodies. But oftentimes, these regulatory bodies only fine him a few million dollars, which is not even a hand slap for somebody with Elon Musk's net, net worth. Well, absolutely. You know, we, I feel like we talk about Elon Musk almost every day at this point. He's certainly been called an erratic visionary. You cover him, obviously, a lot, too. Is this just par for the course for Elon Musk? You make a great point. He has a demonstrated track record of being a little all over the place. So um, he, he's had a few kind of uh, situations like this before. A while ago, he, treated, he tweeted that he would accept Bitcoin as payment for Tesla. Uh, and then a few days after that, he said actually he changed his mind. Um, he's tweeted before that he supports Dogecoin, which is kind of a meme cryptocurrency that has volatile price swings. And after he tweeted that, the price went way up. And then he tweeted he didn't like it anymore, and the price dropped. So he obviously has accomplished a lot, but he also has a track record of changing his mind, to put it lightly. Well, certainly. Last question for you, Lydia. How frustrating is this for the company's investors at this point? You make a great point, and, and, and we hear from our Twitter sources as well that there's a lot of drama and turmoil internally because, you know, in the last few weeks, there's been uh, an effort from Twitter management to try and sort of accede to Elon Musk's demands and, and make this a more profitable company. They've frozen hiring. Um, they've gotten rid of some top executives who they were paying a lot of money, um, and now they feel like they don't know what's going to happen. I mean, it's important to note that Twitter CEO Parag Agrawal tweeted just a couple hours ago that he still believes the deal is going to close, but they're having to, to prepare for a number of things that could happen. Yeah, we will certainly see what happens. Lydia Moynihan from the New York Post, we will probably check back in with you again because I'm sure there will be some more Elon Musk news next week. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.